Hello, and welcome to an overview of the introductory neuroscience and neuroinstrumentation course we conducted as a part of the NPTEL in July, October 2020. I am Dr. Mahesh Jaichandra, a physician researcher and currently biodesign innovator at the Center for Biosystem Science and Engineering at the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. I will be handling the introductory neuroscience and Dr. Hardik Pandya, uh, Assistant Professor at the Department of Electronic Systems Engineering, ISC, will be handling the introductory neuroinstrumentation. Teaching assistants from ISC for this course are Ratan Joshi, Uttam Paul, Rabi, and Manoj Ratan Ratina Sabapati. This is an overview of the NPTEL introductory neuroscience and neuroinstrumentation course that we will be conducting. It is a 12-week elective course aimed at undergraduates and postgraduates with an engineering background, but others are free to join in. It has two distinct components, introductory neuroscience and introductory neuroinstrumentation. So our emphasis is on the mammalian central nervous system, CNS, specifically the human central nervous system. Neuroscience can be simply defined as the science of the nervous system. It has a history of a few hundred years, but this term was coined in the 60s, and many sub-disciplines, example, neuroanatomy, neurophysiology, psychological sciences, began merging to understand the function and dysfunction of the central nervous system. Since then, there's been an explosion of interest in funding and neuroscientists. In 1971, the Society for Neuroscience first annual meeting was attended by 1,100 neuroscientists. Last year, 2019, SFN annual meeting had over 22,000 neuroscientists. So why is it important? Neuroscience is important to society not only for understanding the central nervous system function, but also its dysfunction in conditions like stroke, traumatic brain injury, epilepsy, and the psychiatric disorder, schizophrenia and depression. A knowledge of neuroscience can help formulate intelligent solutions for common problems, both at the individual and societal levels. Neuroanatomy is that part of neuroscience which deals with the structure the brain it can be divided into two parts, which we'll be touching upon. One is the gross anatomy, that is the structure of the nervous system at the visible or microscopic levels. And then the cellular anatomy or histologies, which studies microscopic anatomy of nerve cells using special stains. Neurophysiology is that part of neuroscience which deals with the function of the nervous system. The primary tools are electrophysiological ranging from the membrane level, that is patch gland, to non-invasive scalp recordings to study whole brain function, that is EEG, evoked potentials and event-related potentials. Other methods used to study the brain include calcium imaging, optogenetics, molecular biology. These are outside the scope of this course. So one of the first things we will be looking at is how do neural cells work? What is the basis of the resting membrane potential in neural cells or neurons? What is the basis of the action potentials in neurons? And how do neurons communicate with each other? Other neuroscience topics we will be touching upon would be electroencephalography, specifically brain evoked potentials and brain event related potentials. These are non invasive scalp recordings. We'll also be looking at electromagnetic brain stimulation, both magnetic as well as electrical methods. And finally, we shall look at brain-computer interfaces where using the signals of the brain, we can control devices outside the brain. Neuroinstrumentation topics that would be handled by Professor Hardik Pandya include electrophysiological signal analysis from an engineering perspective, EEG applications for hearing loss, mathematical analysis of EEG using MATLAB modules, EEG lab and ERP lab, and also wavelet analysis of evoked potentials. We'll also be looking at one major form of CNS dysfunction, epilepsy, and the neuroinstrumentation to detect it. Other neuroinstrumentation topics include signal conditioning as well as signal processing circuits for EEG and ERP signals, introduction to clean room fabrication, extracellular microelectrode fabrication, simulation of microelectrodes using COMSOL, and 3D printing methods for EEG headbands. Thank you for your interest and hope to see you at the course.